just about to start the fourth quarter. Your Taos Tigers up 41 to nothing over the Hot Springs Tigers out of truth or consequences in this first round playoff game of the New Mexico State Championship Tournament. He's beating himself up over right now. <laughs> Teams are are flipping ends of the field now. Still a hard win. Again, 25 to 35 mile an hour winds forecast. We are getting that, and there are still snow showers. Not snow here at our elevation, but snow all around us, kind of blotting out the mountain here just to the north of us now. Hot Springs back to the line of scrimmage to start the fourth quarter. Two men split wide to the right. Nobody on the left. It's going to be a handoff to the fullback right up the middle. I'm sorry, the quarterback keeps it and follows him through. He's still driving. Half the Taos team has got him. It's a big rugby strung. They finally tackle him down. Actually, Lorenzo Royale comes out with the ball, but they're going to call forward progress there. The quarterback didn't go down, but he pushed forward enough for the first down. Again, that's the design of this offense is to, is to confuse you a little bit in terms of who has the ball. I got faked out that time as the fullback. It was a fake to the fullback, but then the quarterback kept it, followed him through the line of scrimmage, pushes forward down to the Taos 32-yard line where it will be first and 10 for Hot Springs. They split one man to the left. Wings on both sides of the tight ends. Now a man comes in motion right to left. They're going to give it to him. It's a bad handoff, but he contains it. Wow. That handoff kind of popped out of him and went up on his shoulder pad. He reached up and grabbed it on the top of his shoulder pad, was able to hang on to it, trying to go off tackle. Taos defense isn't well, though, although that would have been an opportunity if they could have hit him while that ball wasn't secured. It could have been a fumble. No gain on the game. Turnover free game, essentially, if you don't count the onside kick to start the game or the, the snap that went over the kicker's head on the missed field goal attempt by uh, Hot Springs. Essentially, turnover free today, but that was an opportunity there if Taos had hit him. But uh, well defense, tackled at the line of scrimmage, no gain. The ball between the 31 and the 32 yard line in Taos territory. It's second down and 10. To the line of scrimmage, Hot Springs splits one man wide to the right. Wings on either side of the tight ends. Quarterback under center, one man behind him. Taos flinches, but no flag. Here's the snap. They're going to try a halfback pass, and he's got a man on the left-hand side. They throw the ball deep, and it's intercepted by Jonathan Cordova. Jonathan Cordova now running down the sideline, coming back to the middle of the field to the 20 to the 25, and he'll get tackled at the 30-yard line. Right on cue, a turnover by Hot Springs, talking about what a turnover-free game this had been. They try a halfback pass. They run the, the running back to the right-hand side of the field like he was going to run to the wide side of the field. He pulls up and stops, throws back to the left-hand side, but Jonathan Cordova won. Once again, there to make the play. The ball was overthrown. Cordova in prevent defense not letting anybody behind him. The ball was overthrown, and he was able to make an over-the-shoulder catch, get the ball inside the five, and then return it all the way back to the 30-yard line. Taos will take over first and 10. Nine minutes, 28 seconds, and ticking in the fourth quarter. Two men split to the left, two on the right. Shotgun for quarterback Kevin McCarty. Here's the snap. Handoff up the middle to Isaac Gonzalez. He breaks one tackle, gets out of the backfield. He's going up the middle. He's going to break this one. He's going to go all the way. He's in the clear. He's to the 30, to the 20, to the 10. No flags. Touchdown, Taos. A 71-yard touchdown run by Isaac Gonzalez. He had one of 47 yards early in the game. This one, 71 yards for Taos. Nine minutes and seven seconds left to play here in the fourth quarter. Extra point kick coming from David Ayala. There was an injured player for Hot Springs. They're getting him off the sideline, able to walk off. They helped him off a little bit. Now they're having to change personnel. Here comes the extra point kick attempt. I don't think anybody was ready for that. They're going to signal good. Hot Springs had several players still trying to get on the field. They go ahead and throw the flag. I'm not sure uh, if uh, the officials had signaled that ball is ready to be in play or not. The Hot Springs coach is now talking with the official. They had an injured player that they're trying to get off. So I think what the Hot Springs coach is trying to say is like you can't whistle the ball ready to go if you've got an injured player on the field, even though it was at the far end of the field. Of course, it was a 71-yard run, so that injured player was back at the 30-yard line on the opposite side of the field. But uh, they may let this one stand. The extra point kick attempt was good. 
We're going to keep it right here while they sort this one out. There was a flag thrown, and the Hot Springs coach is out waiting for an explanation here. I'm not sure if they're just going to let this go. Um, Hot Springs had people behind the line of scrimmage trying to get new personnel on the field since there was an injured player that they're trying to replace. These scores at halftime from around the state. Hope Christian 35, Raton 13 at halftime. Albuquerque, Albuquerque Academy 28, Pauake 14 at halftime. So the rest of our district not faring too well today. Of course, Robertson last night pounding Portales 36 to nothing. But right now, Raton and Pawake down at halftime in their respective games today. Now snowflakes here on the field. Heavy snow showers to our north. The mountain is disappearing, and there are snowflakes here over Anaya Field. That hasn't cooled off the Taos offense, though. 48 to nothing. They're going to let that extra point stand. 48 to nothing here in the fourth quarter. Nine minutes and seven seconds left to play in the game. David Ayala set to kick off, so it looks like he'll go ahead and boom this one deep. It's not Larry Martinez this time, but David Ayala, and here he comes. He's going to kick this one high and deep, end over end, caught at the eight-yard line, taken right up the middle. He's got a wedge, get, bounces off a of one man. He's going to get tackled at the Taos 32-yard line. I think the reason they may have had Larry Martinez doing some squib kips earlier is it looks like uh, Hot Springs does a very good job of that kickoff return as they almost broke the last kickoff, and this time they looked like they had it going, but Taos' defense able to swarm in there and get him at the 32-yard line. Clock is running here, 35 points or more in the second half is a constant clock. The clock will not stop. It's eight minutes, 35 seconds, and ticking, and will continue to tick with this margin by Taos. First and 10 from their own 32. Hot Springs to the line of scrimmage. Spread formation. Two on each side. Quarterback in shotgun formation. One man back with him. Now everybody goes except for the center. This will be a flag against Hot Springs. Flag on the play. The receivers in the left side line, they all took off like the ball had been snapped, but the center did not snap the ball, so they're going to back them up five yards. It'll bring them back to the 27-yard line. Ball on the right-hand hash mark. Hot Springs going left to right. They've got the wind, the stiff north wind behind them, so if they threw the ball, they'd have that behind them. Under eight minutes now in the game. Same formation. Here's the snap. Straight draw back. Wants to throw. Now fires it incomplete on the left-hand side. Michael Langreff got to the quarterback. There was both Michael Langreff and number 43 for Dallas, Khalil Bilal, were in the backfield harassing the quarterback. Now there's two flags on the play. They came in late. I didn't see them early. They're over on the 30-yard line on the far side on the 30 number. They're going to call pass interference, apparently, on this uh, pass there on the left-hand side. They're trying to throw to the inside guy, number 32 for Taos. That's Jazeel Galindo, the sophomore. They're going to call pass interference and move this ball all the way up to the 42-yard line and give a first and 10 to Hot Springs. Seven minutes and 14 seconds and still ticking. After the penalty, first down for Hot Springs. Same formation, spread formation, two wide on each side. Shotgun for the quarterback, one man behind him. Here's the snap. Quarterback bobbles it now, throws the ball over the middle, and it's caught. This will be another first down. Getting Lorenzo Rayo not able to make that tackle. He hung on to the carrier, but he was able to drag Lorenzo four or five more yards inside Taos territory to the 45-yard line. That ball caught on the big Orange Tiger logo in the middle of the field. That was number 20 for them, Quentin Montoya, and he was able to drag Lorenzo a little further. First down pickup on that pass play to the Taos 44-yard line. Ball's on the right hand, hash mark. Six minutes, 34 seconds, and ticking. Hot Springs going to the spread formation again, now in pass mode. Taos now showing blitz. Here they come. He gets the ball away, and it's caught inside the 40. Quick tackle there, Martin Bernal. And number 88 for Taos, that's Nick Limley. They tackle him pretty quickly, but that's going to be a good pass completion of about six yards there and bring up second down and four of the ball at the Taos 38-yard line. At the Taos 38-yard line will be third and so Hot Springs getting a little something going here with the clock running. Six minutes, even on the clock right now. Stiff north wind. The mountain has totally disappeared now. Snow showers coming into Anaya Field. Second down and four for Hot Springs. Same spread formation. Two on each side. Shotgun for the quarterback. Here's the snap. Straight draw back. Taos looking for the quarterback, and they're going to take him down. Lorenzo Royale, a takedown at the 44-yard line. 
and then helps up the quarterback. That's good sportsmanship. We've seen that by Taos all year long, that uh, even though they're fierce competitors, they're still uh, all friends out there. And even though the quarterback got sacked there by Lorenzo, he helped him up after that. Ball's going to be spotted back at the 45-yard line, so a big loss there, a loss of seven on that play. It'll bring up third down and 11 for Hot Springs. The ball just past the 45-yard line in Taos territory at the right-hand hash mark. Third down and 11, spread formation for them again. Quarterback and shotgun, one man right next to him, right behind him. Taos is going to jump off sides. That's number 56 for Taos. That's Raymond Miera. He got a little too excited there and flinched, and that's all it takes is to jump into the neutral zone a little bit, and that's an offside. So instead of being third down and 11, it'll be third down and six. They'll spot this ball just outside the 40-yard line. They've got to get to the 34-yard line for the first. Four minutes, 49 seconds, and ticking here left in the game. Taos up 48 to nothing. Spread formation for Hot Springs. Two men split on each side of the field. Quarterback now audibleizing to his receivers on the left. Shotgun formation. Here's the snap. Straight drop back. Time to throw. Lofts it over the middle. Incomplete. Here comes a flag from the far sideline. The receiver was on the ground, had tripped and fallen down, but a flag comes in all the way across the field. The receiver was at the numbers here on the right-hand side of the field on, a, on an in pattern or a slant. He fell down around the hash marks, but a flag comes in from the far sideline as that official saw that player falling on the ground, likely against Taos here as their feet got tripped up. The pass was incomplete. There was multiple officials a lot closer uh, to the play than that official was, but this call is going to go against Taos and give a first down to Hot Springs. They're marching the ball inside the 30 all the way to the 25-yard line of Taos. Three minutes and 45 seconds now and ticking. Fresh set of downs for Hot Springs. Different formation for them. They've got a wing on the left. Two men split to the left. Shotgun formation for their quarterback. A man behind the quarterback and a tight end on the right-hand side. Here's the snap. Rolling to his left. Pulls up, wants to throw the ball. Fires the ball. And it's intercepted. It's Lorenzo Arellano going down the sideline, going the other way. Just the quarterback to beat. He's going to try to outrun the quarterback, and he will. A stutter step, and he'll go all the way. Touchdown. Touchdown, Taos Tigers. An interception return for the touchdown, and this game is over. 54 to nothing. A 50-point margin is the mercy rule in New Mexico. This game will end on an interception return of 80 yards for Lorenzo Rael. Interception return by Lorenzo Rael, ending the game. This game is over. Your Taos Tigers, 54, Hot Springs, zero, with three minutes and 21 seconds left to play in the game. A pass on the left side by their quarterback, intercepted by Lorenzo Rael, returned 80 yards, an interception return for the touchdown. Your Taos Tigers have defeated Hot Springs in the first round of the playoffs. The Taos Tigers' march to the state championship continues. House Tigers will be traveling to Bluefield. Both teams now shaking hands in the middle of the field. The crowd dispersing quickly as there is snow falling in the mountains. There is some precipitation. Umbrellas are out here too. Stiff north wind. Temperature in the 30s. It's cold. Everybody is hurrying to get out of the stadium here. The team's still in the field though. Everybody's happy even though they're trying to cringe. Get away from the rain and the snow and the wind here at Anaya Field. But I guarantee you everybody in orange and black is very...